place. He uh, went to a tournament at the old esports arena in Orange County. Big shout out to Luke and the gang out there. Um, it was Battle on the Strip, and I believe TK wins. You know, I tuned in to watch my boy do work on the mic, and I was like, who is this Sam is going in like this? Like, Her name's Icy Miss, and she ain't to be taken lightly. I said, all right, point taken. All right, she's getting points in my book. But of course, you know, we talk about young phenoms, so we got to talk about Cola. All right. Coming through with the, I believe the Roy gameplay. Yes, we're going to rock Roy for this first one, but don't get it twisted. He can play a couple other characters, but Roy is what he loves best right now. Y'all, I, I miss the Cola snake. That That's Man. Uh, long dead, but uh, it used to be a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm with you on that. Cola, of course, plays teaser pretty much every day of the week at our locals down in Georgia, so no stranger to this matchup. And actually checking my notes, I was wrong. It wasn't Cola Icy Mist, it was Cola Quick Goblin Cola Icy quick. Mist. That's right, Goblin but, Icy Mist. Granted, I casted two uh, Roy Samus matches in a row at Let's Make Big Moves 2022, so they kind of start blurring together at this point. And some of Cola's combos are starting to blur together here a little bit as they've been lightning fast to kick off game number one. Oh, like Muhammad Ali said, you can't hit what your eyes can't see sometimes. And uh, it just feels like Ice Miss having a little a uh, little bit of trouble right here in the up close and personal game, which is exactly where no great tech, which is definitely where Cola wants to play. I'm trying to stay in that comfortable range where like if she shoots a projectile, I got time to block it. But I also want to be close enough to do some damage. And I think he's doing just that here. Nice. Gets the ants here. Sam is gonna do a lot of jumping here. Of course, looking for like something into like forward or something into backer. But you know what though? Enjoy this something into one of my aerials as well. Jab backer is going to close it out. At first, you don't succeed. Just do it again. It'll probably work the second time. As Cola gets that jab back air on the exact same spot on the stage as well as the first one that missed. Cola now gets that run off, uh, run up grab rather, one of his favorite moves to do, and avoids the uh, the Samus bread and butter of jab one dash back grab. Mm -hmm. You know, I think jab is so bad with Samus is actually kind of good for mix-ups because you go in thinking, oh, there ain't no way she's going to do anything after jab. Actually, enjoy this pivot grab. As somebody who gets hit by that all the time, I've seen it time and time again, Frank. Oh, wait a minute. I see, I see Miss starting to melt here just a little bit. And I think Cola took hit her jump with the uh, when he did the runoff fair, and she didn't quite realize oh. it. And he's looking to end it all here, and he does so just like that. What? I... I need another swig of Red Bull. I need another swig of Red Bull. Never before have I seen someone evaporate like that. She no. died at what, 40? Ain't no damn way. I am, I am. I'm about to get up off this mic, man. I can't handle it today. Full I... charged F smash to catch the air dodge back to stage. Cola had Icy terrified after the dare attempt, so she was like, I gotta get back on stage, I gotta get back on stage, and Cola abused that desire you, by just standing there and charging F Smash. You just cannot allow somebody, and I feel, I don't wanna tell nobody how to play, but you know, it's Samus and it's Roy, like you know what you gotta do with Roy, okay? You gotta zone him. First of all, those low percents, Samus is terrifying, let's be real. Yes. Especially on somebody like Roy, I can get down throw forward or down throw back air, I can string along a couple up airs, whatever. And then when, the, you know, you get those mid to later percents, guess what I'm about to start to do? I'm about to start to zone you, especially if there's platforms, I'm going to zone you. And then once you get in close enough, I can lean into my grounded game. Samus has some pretty okay normals. No, friends, not jab. All right, jab is silly. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we're talking like down till we talking up till we definitely talking forward till. Uh, but we just, wow, we didn't see that at all in that last game. In fact, we didn't see too much of nothing. So that last match was definitely a commercial. This is the actual show right here. Game number two is online. Yeah, three stock, a heck of a way for Cola to start off this set against Icy Mist. But this time she's going back to what she knows best. And that's is. what you were talking about, Rod. That's the, the zoning game. Also the ledge traps, which we haven't seen too much of so far. But this could be a critical mistake. Make one mistake against Cola and you take 30. And we've been seeing that uh, narrative kind of play out all weekend here at Gamble. Just all, all these players, you you miss once, you in some real trouble. Okay, Cola said, you know, you, Cola said, you know what, I'm swinging. Icy Mist said, I'm going to swing just a little bit bigger. Comes through with the downer, the media tech, clean stuff right there from Cola. And Roy, one of the characters that's fast enough to punish that up the out of shield against Samus. <laughs> Again? Oh, it's the second hit of Nair that takes Cola out with the double parry. Certainly was an impressive attempt to get a punish. And you know what? This is one of those moments where I could almost argue that half charge or uncharged neutral special is probably scarier than the charged one itself. Oh, still absolutely. Get the, still get the charge cancel, and then the uncharged ones allow Samus and Dark Samus for follow-ups. Very scary to deal with at the ledge, especially for somebody like Roy. Great stuff right here from Ice Miss. Gets the K on the up throw. We should see a back throw. Oh, no, fourth throw. We're going to keep it center stage, he said. 
Yeah, trying to, trying to put her into a tech chase situation, but she DIs it correctly. Cole is not able to get the stock quite yet. The up tilt, still not enough to do it either, but this ledge trap is very dangerous as Icy slows it down with her return to stage. Gave her a lot of time to think, but maybe too much time. A little analysis paralysis comes through with the back air when the first Eastern F tilt, and that's just the Fire Emblem classic right there. Run up to the ledge, wait for you to do a get up attack or a roll in. I run out, turn around, F tilt, boom, done. Okay, caught in this corner. This is oh, this is what we were talking about. This is that ledge trapping. Icy Miss doing oh. such a good job of punishing every getup option from Cola. He is able, no, he's not able to get back up on until he takes up to 149%. Mm -hmm. This is just too much percent indeed, and the grab games have been on line here. For, uh oh, someone got to charge the Joy Cons. Somebody, all right, man, who's out here playing Mario Kart? You need to charge your Joy Cons, okay? All charge shot is, comes through. Yeah, there's the real charge right here. It's coming through from Icy Miss, and I love this. I mean, she's just in full control right here of the neutral, and if not so much the neutral, definitely the narrative of this match. You're not going to be able to break any of this zone. Cola said, hold on, I'm here to rewrite the book, though. Yeah, I'm here to yeah. rewrite the damn book. I'm rewriting it. Great stuff right there from Cola. Icy Miss Aaron's from back. Can't let you go tit for tat with our little something to take on the road. Love that. It's moments like these where I wish we had mid-game instant replays, but this game is just way too fast for that because during that up air string, Cole actually did an immediate fastball to avoid the mine coming his way, reset on the stage, and then caught Icy's landing with the F smash. Nobody, nobody can play that fast except Cola in a situation like this. Oh, the first swing of the double edge dance. Cola, what are you thinking in that head of yours? Okay, forward air, that's gonna do it. Now, I like this here from Ice Miss. She's gonna take her time. She's either gonna use the down special or she's gonna wait all the way until she's up underneath the ledge of the stage and go for a late up B or possibly look for a tether as well. Down throw. That's not true anymore. Looks oh. for the chase outward with the dare, but doesn't quite get it on Cola. And now she's Ooh. the one with her back against the wall once more. Cola gets the first two hits of Double Edge Dance, but gets reset with the fair. Oh, that's so scary. I mean, just to keep putting yourself in this corner, whether it be like a, a get up attack or a neutral get up, I get it. You want to get out of harm's way as safely as possible. That is what all the characters, well, not all the Fire Moon characters, but pre predominantly like Roy and Palmer looking for. But he said, I'm looking for another dub on the board for myself. Goes up 2-0. Her on Icy Miss. That was interesting DI there at the end. I don't think she should have died to that, but granted, on a stage like Battlefield against a character like Roy in that like perfectly centered position, Talk it's very, very easy to get your DI crossed up because what if he does an up air? What if he does a fair? What if he tries to set up for a tech chase situation on the light? It's, yes. there's, there's so much going on. It's very easy to get your DI you know, turned around and sent out to the blast zone. But Icy Mist down 2-0 against Cola after having a huge lead to start off that game two. Mm. That's got to hurt. That one has definitely got to sting just a little bit. But you know what, though? The best thing about Gamo at this point in bracket, that is best of five. And I feel Absolutely. like if you play a character like Samus, you should be equipped. It should be in your DNA, especially going to play a Samus at this level. That sometimes we got to slow this match down to play the long game. And I think that narrative is starting to work out really good right here for Ice Miss. Love that up. Be taking these platforms away. And it's honestly making Cola's life hell to approach. We know Roy's going to get in. Just don't make it easy. 112%, the perfect line for Icy to start off this game number three. <laughs> Could find a KO if she gets the right setup on ledge, but Cola, he's too fast with those reactions to the get up, so catches the grab and now puts her in a, in a disadvantageous situation, which she immediately turns around, Ooh, or maybe not. God, yeah. Of course, he turns around, caught off stays. This is just not a good spot to be in. Love that recovery, though. Again, really utilizing Ooh. that tether, really utilize just the entire toolkit that is Samus Aran to get back power through Samus Aran, excuse me, to get back onto the stage because Roy takes a lot from you once you get caught in that corner. Quick answer back, but I'd like to see Icy Miss kind of take a lead and hold on to it for a little bit. The crazy thing here is that we've seen Cola spend almost no time on ledge, except for when he's the one doing the ledge trapping. Back. Most of the time when you see a Samus like of the caliber of Icy Mist or Teaser or Siski, mm -hmm. they get almost all of their leverage, all of their KOs and all of their percent from just keeping you imprisoned on the ledge for minutes at a time. I think hasn't been able to do that against Cola. Yeah, absolutely not. I mean, we've seen it maybe just once or twice, especially when it came to like those uncharged neutral specials. Those are really clean. Um, of course, just even if they're not enough to like not take again. you out, they're enough to keep you pinned down in the corner. But it seems like all the pinning in the corner is coming from Lord Cola himself. Another S mask for your troubles. And this ain't looking good right here at all for Icy Mist. He's taken at least one stock every game with one of those charge up F smashes. And does it again right there after also telegraphing, hey, I'm looking for F smash. He did it once at roll distance and then just ran up and did it again. Okay, sometimes.
sometimes ain't nothing to it but to do it. And Cola right now doing it in a big way. 146%, as you know, 30 more percent. And I do feel like Iceness will be able to at least go for an up throw, something a little bit more safe as opposed to trying to approach Cola physically because this just ain't working out for it right now. Love that turnaround F tilt, though. Those are those grounded normals I was talking about before. Uh-uh, back up. Uh oh, that just means full rage for Cole, and he's looking for it all. He's not able to close it out with that one interaction, and Icy Mist is able to get the down tilt to get the star KO off the top. That does bring us to last stock, but there's a huge discrepancy between the percents of these two players. And Cola, he's looking to close it out now. He wants to go on to his top eight qualifier immediately. And he's doing a darn good job of proving why he deserves to be there. Ice Mist is kind of struggling right here to find this opening. Playing it safe, I like this. Got another uppercut, get a third one. Okay, no one wants to play it safe. Nothing wrong with that. We got platforms for safety measures. There's the back throw. Uh oh, oh. oh that's stinky business. Okay, no, we good. He just barely oh! gets the no! Again, Cola looked like he might have been dead off stage there, but just barely gets saved by the magnet hands. Gets back onto stage with a roll and then just does a raw oh, F smash. Oh my God, Lass, that is just that brilliance that is Cola, just an absolute monster. And honestly, do I think Roy could arguably be the better character of the two? You know, it's debatable. You know, I'm sure it goes back and forth on Twitter, but look. One thing's for sure, there are some very specific things where if you are a projectile character, you have to do versus Krom and Roy, and that is zone, trap them at the less, that recovery system, less than favorable, especially Roy's. And I just felt like there's a couple instances where Ice Mist might have been just a little too haphazard. I wanted Ice Mist to, you know, not only just go for like the uncharged neutral specialist, to go for like the bomb resets, you know, try to mess up the recovery, but also just run off and go for Nair. I mean, look, in Ultimate, I'm always gonna say the ledge trap over edge guarding, but versus Roy, Literally get out there and press anything. Roy's Kill probably him. dead. He's probably dead. Yeah, it's it's definitely something that needs to be done to make that matchup not just doable, but winnable. Uh, we've seen it down in Georgia many, many times with Cola versus Teaser, where Cola actually has to switch to Wolf mm -hmm. uh, to deal with that matchup. But Max. sticks to the Roy here and finds quite a few F smashes to make that happen. But... Uh, that, that's going to be Cola moving on to a face off against, I believe, Aaron, mm. uh, who took it 3 2 over Tilde, if I'm not mistaken, oh, wow. from what was happening over on our side stream. Oh, wow. And I'm sure that was a good one right there. Big shout out to both of those two players. And yes, I believe we're going to relive some of the magic that was that last match with the Red Bull replay question mark. Can we get one maybe? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. See some F smashes again? Maybe. I'd like to see a couple. I don't know. We'll get it figured out.